Okay, so transition. Um, one of the most important parts of any game, um, whichever sport you're playing, um, team sport. That's the moment when you're in possession and you lose the ball, or whether you're out of possession and gain the ball. And there's different ways of approaching things depending upon which situation we're talking about. So at the moment, let's look at this scenario here. Blues are attacking the goal. It's a shot. Keeper's parried it. Ball's gone to the defender. So we've gone from being in possession to with a save shot, we're now out of possession. Now, there's a set routine here that all the best teams do. It's called closing the ball in, shutting it in, trying to win the ball as high up the pitch as you can, rather than just dropping off and letting these then play nice and easily out. Too easy, too easy. Then they've got us under attack, they're getting some width, they're making runs, they are now dictating play. So let's go back to where we were. So it's a shot. Great save to the defender. What course of action do we follow? Right, first thing, we close them down nearest the ball, first man nearest the ball. Now this is where communication plays a huge part. So the minute, or the second rather, this ball hits this guy's feet, this fellow has got to be switched on. So is he, so is he, and so is he. Now he, to me, as the ball's almost as the ball's rolling here, would shout drop to this guy. This guy, as the ball's rolling here, starts to close him in. This guy closes in. And this guy closes in. He's probably close enough, he can keep an eye on things, but we'll put it there. So what we've done, we've put the yellows under extreme pressure. He can't pass back to the goalkeeper. So what options have, has he got? Well, he's hoping that perhaps the blue shuts down here rather than where he should be, which was here. Because if he's here, he's stopping balls going there and going there, because this is what they're looking for. If he's here, thank you very much, it's there, and already we're then on the back foot. He'd be in there to support, he's put, he would probably take a bit of width, he would probably do the same, and then we're under pressure again, all because we didn't do what we should have done as a unit, and this is where it, it has to be done, as a unit. First man shuts, second man shuts, third man shuts, all, but all in one go, not in, in dribs and drabs. Because we get the scenario where if this guy's here and he was here, let's go back to the keeper's made the save. It's rolled here. If nothing's done, if people can't be bothered or, or can't read the situation, and it's normally going to be the former rather than the latter because everybody can see what's happening, he's got to get, get out of jail card free, hasn't he? He rolls a 10-yard ball to him and the pressure's off. He's in space and they're on the move. All because he didn't make five yards, he didn't make five yards, he didn't make five yards. So that's the principle. Now you can, you can take this little segment of play here and you can put it anywhere on the pitch because it applies. Doesn't matter where the breakdown is. If we follow this scenario, first man closes down, we fill in, but as one, not in dribs and drabs, then as we all know, we're putting these under extreme pressure and that's when you're more likely to win the ball back when these are struggling to play out. 